Hey guys, in this episode we're going to start working on our camera a little bit. We currently have some basic movement on the player, but in order to push it a little bit further, we're going to need a camera that follows him around so we can test properly. Alright, let's get started. Alright, so to get started what I'll do is I will start by creating a new folder in the script folder. I'll call this one camera. In there we are going to create ourselves a state folder. And now we will go ahead and create the three script we are going to write this episode. So the first one is going to be called camera mother. So camera mother. The second one is going to be called, and this one is, is, is uh, inside the state folder. This one is going to be called base camera state. And then of course we need to start declaring a state. So we'll go ahead and create a new C sharp script. This one is going to be the first person camera script. Okay, let's start by um, writing the camera state script. So the base camera state. Okay, so in there, actually I'm, I don't really want to write it, so I'll just clean it up and I'll go in my motor folder, then state folder, get the base state, and we'll copy a bunch of stuff in there. So we're going to start by uh, taking the base motor uh, right until the process rotation. So we're going to take this content here and paste it inside the uh, base camera state. I'm going to remove the regions just like this and then um, replace the base motor up here for base camera state. Actually no, never mind. this is going to be the camera motor place. Copy this, replace it in the construct as well and then destruct is fine, transition is also fine and the two others are also good. Um, this is a uh, this is a abstract function, so we're going to need to turn this class into a abstract class. So copy this, put it right before class, and uh, that should pretty much be it for our base state folder for the camera. Of course, I'm going to close it off, and then we're going to attack the camera motor script. This one is going to be a big script. So, um, to start, for starters, we are going to write we are going to need a reference to the current state, so private base camera state that I'm going to call state. And then after that we'll need a public transform camera container, which is also going to be um, a property, so make sure it has a capital letters and we do a set get. Just below that I'm going to declare myself another property, this time it is a vector3, I'm going to call it input vector. And this is pretty much going to be the same as our move vector for the um, movement motor. Okay, now we got these out of the way. I'm going to start by writing a public void init for instantiate or initialize. And then I'm going to write in there camera container is equal to a new game object. And now you can you can call this pretty much whatever you want, but this is going to be a separate game object on which the camera is going to be. So I'm going to call this camera container. And then of course we make a dot transform at the end because we are getting a reference to a transform. Just below that we're going to say camera container dot game object dot add component and we're going to add the camera component. So we should have a camera spawning on the map now, uh, assuming the init is called. And below that, we're going to say state is equal to game object dot add component. We're going to add the first. Did we declare it? I think we did not declare it. Oh yeah, the uh, first person. Oh, I made a mistake. That's why. Let me just go fix that real quick. Delete. And then in state, I create the first person camera and then we are going to say first person camera in there so um oh by the way just cast it as a base camera state so we are not going to be using the first person camera forever uh, we are going to be using it for the next few videos just to test out stuff because the third person camera is uh uh, has a lot of work into and we don't want to get into that just yet. We want to have something working first. So we want to have the uh, camera motor working first. And then we can attack ourselves to the... We can attack the uh, third person script. But for now let's just stick with an easy one which is the first person camera script. 
Okay, then after that, what we'll be doing is actually I'll go back in the player motor, which should be somewhere around here. So player motor, and I'm going to copy and paste. Oh, actually, no, it's not a player motor; it's a base motor. I'm going to go in there, copy and paste the change state function. So let's come back in here, paste the camera motor. Um, and this should be okay, but we have to change this for a base camera state. Okay, so we got these two functions. We only need two more, so two functions left in this. This first one is going to be a private void update, of course. And then another one that we're going to call private void late update. Okay, so late update is also a callback from Unity. And the reason we're going to use it in this case is because we want to be able to update the camera container dot position um, we want to be able, able to update the uh, position and the rotation of the camera after we run the update so every update is going to be run in the scene first so the player is going to be the player is moving using the update and it is going to be updated first before the late update so we want to make sure that our player moves first and then the camera moves because if it is the other way around and it might be if we put it in the update, it might be the other way around, and we don't want our camera to update first because because the camera needs the position of the player, so it is like dependent on the position of the player. So in the late update, we're going to do camera container dot position is equal to state dot process motion, and we're going to shoot the input vector that we haven't calculated just yet, but we will in a moment. Just below that, we say camera container dot rotation is equal to state dot process rotation same thing should the input vector okay cool so the input vector now it needs to be calculated in the update and this is going to be um, for now we're just going to put some default values but eventually we want we want to have like inputs such as the WASD that moves the player and we want to have another set of inputs that move the camera so let's say the arrow key or something of the sort for now we'll just keep it simple and we'll go ahead and write um, actually we won't even write we'll go in the player motor and we'll just copy this over here put it in there and instead of returning direction we're simply going to do input vector is equal to there okay so that's pretty much all we need for this script for now of course we're going to be uh, building this up as we go but this looks pretty much like all we need for now um let's go ahead and create ourselves a really really simple first person state for our camera so go in here we're going to change this for base camera state this is pretty much the same thing we do with the movement actually it is the same thing we do with the base movement state so we're going to say protected override now we've got to override the process motion and this is going to calculate the exact position of the camera. So, uh, in the first person camera, we want to make sure that our camera is pretty much just sitting on top of the player. And since the camera motor is going to be on top of the player, then the states are also going to be on the player. So the transform we're currently on <laughs> is basically a player, so we can simply say return transform.position. And it should work just fine. After that, we're going to do a public override, process rotation, and we are going to return the transform dot rotation for now. And just leave it simple like that. We're going to finish this off um, in the next episode, but first off, we just want to make sure that our camera motor works and is implemented just fine. So let's go in game and um, just take a look at if everything works fine. And yep, this works fine. We still have a camera in there. We haven't initialize our other camera so what we're going to do is we're going to actually just turn off the main camera I'm just gonna delete it on my side so I'm going to delete the camera and then we need to make sure that our little player so our player motor script creates himself a camera motor by himself so I'm going to go in the player motor script going to declare myself a private camera motor that I'm going to call simply call cam mutter like this and then I need to initialize that but we don't have any kind of uh, start function in there we don't have any kind of initialize but we do have one in the base mutter if you remember 
we have a protected virtual void start and it is virtual so all we need to do in here is say protected override oh, protected override start and then we leave the base start because it does something important on the other side and we're going to say cam mother is going to equal game object that add component camera mother so we just added a camera mother to our script uh, actually to our game object but it still does nothing because we don't have a start on there remember we don't have any kind of start uh, where it is where is it at there it just it ain't gonna do anything at all unless we call init and this is when we decide okay it is now time to go so cam motor dot init and we should be good to go now we should be started alright let's go back in there click play and hey it is pretty much well it is working the camera is just stuck inside of the player just like this and because of our shader he doesn't see anything so we turn off the um, tune shader just for now as you can see we are inside the player and this is pretty much just a good start this is a good start for uh, our camera motor script next episode we're actually going to implement the first person properly so we'll add rotation so our camera can actually move from left to right like this and we can actually start moving our player with this motion alright guys so this was pretty much it for this episode in the next one we are going to start tackling the first person state for the camera so um, we're going to start by adding some rotation to our camera so our player is going to be able to face left and then if he presses forward he's going to go left pretty much stuff like that um, if you have any question please leave them in the comment section below if this was helpful to you please leave it a like and also if you want to see more subscribe I'm making those whenever I can so Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.